Did you know that the food you eat can have a dramatic impact on your mood, your stress levels, and even anxiety? Dr. Joey Schulman is here. <laughs> Joey, love you, love you, love you. So Joey's going to tell us what to eat to feel great. And we talked a little bit about this with uh, Dr. Dixon off the top of the show and just food and mood when it comes mm -hmm. to PMS and everything. How do we improve our mood with nutrition, Joey? Okay. Fantastic questions. This is research that is, you know, top of our minds right now. And we know that food can have a dramatic impact on things like anxiety, yeah. depression, even having the blahs or fatigue. Mm -hmm. So there's certain things that I want you to eat or be aware of so you can maybe have a, a small impact. Yes. First of all, 70% of your serotonin, your good field chemical, is in your gut. So there is a gut-brain connection, which we've talked about before. Yes. So let's talk protein. We talk protein yep. a lot on the show. So protein is great because it's the great stabilizer. So it stabilizes your blood sugar. So mm -hmm. imagine if you eat only sugar, what goes up crashes. Well, when That's you right. crash, you don't feel good. You feel a little bit blue and, and fatigued. Yeah. In addition, protein, and you could pick from collagen and chicken and turkey and salmon, it also helps with the secretion of dopamine. And okay. dopamine is that good feel brain chemical. We love dopamine. We love dopamine. Yes. It can help with concentration, with empathy, with connection. Yes. So things that people don't even think about. Mm -hmm. So especially for vegetarians, make sure you're getting proper protein. Yeah. And a B12 supplement is not a bad idea as well. Now, I know you're about to jump into fruits and vegetables, and yesterday I just found myself feeling cranky. And it's not my usual disposition. No, so it's not. I came home and I'm like, cranky, and it was raining out and it was cold, yeah. and I put my hat on and my mitts, and I'm like, I'm going to go for a stupid mental health walk yeah. with the dog. <laughs> and I get out there, and I'm like, why am I so cranky? And it's like, I hadn't had a vegetable in 24 hours. Right. That's... You need to eat vegetables. Like, it's not just even because you should eat vegetables because people say you should. You should eat them because you will be in a bad mood if you do not. Eat live to feel live. Yes. That's a basic principle. And so you know with vegetables, we tend to eat the same vegetables over and over again. Yes. So what the American Gut Project has shown is that your microbiome, your gut health is linked to your brain. Mm -hmm. But if you have 30 fruits or vegetables, different types each week, you improve your microbiome. That's a now, lot. I, I get it. That's yeah. a lot. I understand that. But what I'm trying to say to our audience at home or our audience in the studio is try something different, guys. Yeah. If you haven't had asparagus for a while, try some asparagus. Mm -hmm. Limes, dates, just something that you're not regularly eating, put it into your diet. Very good. Switch it up a bit. Switch it up a bit. So we got protein, we got fruits and veg. What else do we need? Okay, so we all know, I don't think it's any news to people, refined flours and sugars, they will ding your blood sugar. They yeah. will ding, they cause um, the growth of candida, which can make affect your mood as well. Yeah. So take the processed sugars out. Mm -hmm. I've talked about monk fruit sugar a few times on the show. Mm -hmm. These are little packets that I put in my coffee. It's zero calorie, zero carb. It's, there's no sort of dramatic blood sugar effect. Yeah. So try and switch to natural things like fruits, monk fruit sugar, dates. Don't be scared of fruit. Yes. Fruit is totally fine for Fruit's you. Fruit's good. Fruit's great. Mm -hmm. So don't be scared of fruit. Okay, so next, what do we need to do? Okay, so food irritants. So mm -hmm. if you are sensitive to gluten or dairy, which is very common, I'm going to be doing another post on that, the gluten and why some people are more sensitive these days. Yeah is you want to remove it, but you don't want to remove it just for three or four days. Mm -hmm. Natural health care takes longer, period, end of sentence. So yeah. someone will come to me after three days and go, it's not working. <laughs> I go, go back. <laughs> like, talk to me Do in four to six weeks. Yes. Four to six weeks. So the protein in gluten and dairy looks similar. Gliadin mm -hmm. and casein. That okay. casein's in dairy and gliadin. So because they're similar, I always take someone off both in the beginning. I'm not saying forever, but then we can reintroduce. So yeah. I know if I have too much gluten, it affects my mood. Right. So Do you feel a little scrambled? I feel, I feel yes, I feel in the clouds. Yeah, yeah okay. I feel in the All clouds. All right, good to know. Um, essential fatty acids, omega-3s, yes. nuts, seeds, brain health and healthy fats go hand in hand. So mm -hmm. if we want to support our brain health, mm -hmm. we want to make sure we're either supplementing with an omega-3 or having really good nuts, seeds, cold water fish, and things like that. Yes, this is my favorite of all the things. That's your favorite the of all the fats? things. The good fats? The good fats, yeah, absolutely. And really good, fills you up, stabilizer as well. Absolutely. A great probiotic. So yes. lastly, probiotic foods in foods and supplements will mm -hmm. help that microbiome, help the good bacteria, the good guys mm -hmm. in your gut. Very good. Last point, yeah. stay hydrated. Hydration is key for drink focus. Drink water. Yeah. How much water do you drink? I drink two liters a day. Okay. Um, I'm not giving up my coffee. 
Me neither. And I love that you never make me do that. I never make yeah. you do that. Yeah, I you're like, just do. maybe a smaller one. Yeah, yeah, but I never make you do that. Mm -hmm. But two liters of water a day, it's very hard for me to get someone into optimal health and mm -hmm. optimal digestion if they're dehydrated. Got it. Yeah. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Yeah. Great lesson as always. Thank mm -hmm. you, Dr.